everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing good and having a great day so you might have seen recently we've just come back from our family holiday you can maybe see some videos of that over on instagram if you fancy seeing what we got up to but we came back and honestly towards the end of that holiday the one thing i wanted to do was get back in my own bed as much as it was lovely being away like i've got quite bad back problems so whenever i sleep on a mattress it doesn't give me the support I notice after like day two, I really notice the difference of sleeping on something that's not like my bed at home. And I know that's such a common thing for people to say when they come back on their holidays. They're like, the one thing I miss was my bed. So yeah, I definitely don't take it for granted. We have got such a comfy bed. And I definitely put that down to having an Emma mattress. It is so unbelievably comfortable. It gets vacuum packed when it gets delivered. You may have seen an unboxing video I did with Emma because I'm working with them on this video as well. And they basically vacuum pack it so small and it just expands but it is so supportive it's so comfortable it feels luxurious and you know obviously you're sleeping every single night so you need to really invest in a good mattress to get a good night's sleep so what i'm going to do in this video today is i'm actually going to restyle my bed because i did come home with fresh eyes and i looked at the way i had the bed and styled and thought it all looks a bit grey obviously grey headboard grey wallpaper grey curtains we've got the white floor that lifts it but and my bedding's grey as well so I just thought I wanted to change it up and also I'm not impressed with my duvet at all so I have actually also got an Emma duvet to upgrade my duvet cover as well and two Emma cushions so I'm going to show you kind of how lackluster it feels just now and then move on into the styling but if anyone does want to try Emma mattress you have got a 200 night guarantee so if you're not fully satisfied you can get a full refund so you can literally try it See how you like it and I'm telling you you won't want to refund it that's obviously why they're saying 200 days because no one is going to want to send it back it is that good so let's get into the video thank you so much to Emma for partnering with me again and I'm going to show you what things look like now and then how I'm going to style it and make it look a bit more fresh I've been watching a lot of Selling Sunset on Netflix so I feel like I want it to look like some of those show home type beds that you see on there so few little tips in there for like scatter cushions and stuff because these ones are just they're not cutting it anymore <laughs> so let's get started i really hope you enjoy this video and if you do like homey content and if you do like styling videos and let me know i'll make more of these coming up in the future so you guys can watch them as well let's get to it okay guys nice sunlight coming in at the back there i feel like a bit of a halo's going on <laughs> so this is the bed as it is just now see the dog's been jumping up on it because it's quite crushed but as you can see it's quite um all one colour isn't it so I'm going to keep this bed spread because I paid a lot of money for it and I really like it but I'm going to change this bed up to something white as much as I'm not a fan of the colour that I've gone for I do like the colour but just it's too much of the one colour in here getting plain bedding I think always works because you can resell your cushions your scatter cushions your throws all of your bed spreads it's just such a good idea to get something that's plain because i feel like you'll get less sick of it here is my duvet i'm going to just unbox it did you guys know that emma is actually the uk's most awarded sleep brand so that's by like witch good housekeeping so they're very well trusted and good. loads of accolades to say so okay here is the duvet i'm actually so excited about this the Emma sale is on right now, so this is your perfect chance to shop. If you want an extra discount on top of the already discounted sale price, click the description box link below and make sure you use my code MAMAREED at checkout for extra money off. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to let this sit over my banister and fluff up a little because it's also been vacuum packed, but it looks really nice so far, nice and bouncy and lovely material. So I'm going to go and set this out over my hallway banister so that it can fully inflate. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the pillows. I am very, very picky with pillows. Now it says on here that these are breathable. They're customizable. What? Hang on. So what, can you take parts out? That's really good. So what I was gonna say was I actually sleep with quite a flat pillow. Um, I don't like my head to be up too high. So the fact that I can change that, that's really good. I'm assuming that's what that means. Okay, so it's breathable, supportive, and customizable. Right, let's go. These look, oh my god, these are in the exact same fabric as the actual mattress. Can you see that? That's the same fabric as the Emma mattress. So let's open it up. Right, so they're flat as a pancake the now, but give that some time, that's going to inflate, isn't it? You yeah, can literally see it doing it just now. So these are like a foam pillow, they're not hollow fibre, but they're like really 
spongy. And do you know what I love about this as well? See when you've got this kind of fabric, they don't look flat. Like, you know, when you get your pillows and they just look a bit lackluster. Yeah, customizable. Look, like you can see there's actually a few layers inside there. That's great, because the thing is as well, you know what it's like? Not everyone, like, I don't know if you guys get this, but me and Fraser definitely have our own pillows. Like, we know like, that's my pillow and that's his. So the fact that you can change it so that you're not both stuck with the same type of pillow, that's a really good idea. Right, I'm going to let this one inflate and open the next one. Also, it's worth mentioning, if anyone's got kids especially, right, see the Emma cover on the mattress. It's similar to this. I'm going to show you on this pillow just now. The Emma cover on the mattress is like this, where it's got a zipper and you can actually zip it all off. So, if you do have young children that like to have movie nights in your bed, make a mess, the odd little accident or whatever, you can actually unzip this and wash, which is great, so the, the pillows are the same. How good is that? Okay, so now it is out with the old and in with the new. I'm going to take off these cushions, which are whole fibre filled, not very thick, very thin, and just a bit lackluster. Do you know, I could actually probably use these cases somewhere else, but I'm taking all of the grey out of this room, so I'm going to take these and possibly put them in Charlie's room instead. So I'm going to pop them on the floor, and I'm going to take off the bedspread because I'm definitely going to use this for styling because I do really love it. And the fact that this is like a really nice flat velvet is great because if you don't iron your bed sheets, which what is the point? <laughs> if you don't iron your bed sheets, then it's good because when you get a mattress topper like this, you can just pop it over your whole bed. And the fact that it's flat velvet, it always makes your room look really tidy and like it's all nice and neat. No creases on your bedding. So I think that's definitely a tip that I've taken from any of the show homes I've ever went to. I always seem to use bed spreads over the whole bed and it just makes everything look really seamless and no crushed covers which I love saves us the ironing and then these are two of my display cushions which I'm not sure I think I might actually keep these still for display um I'm not really sure I think I might keep these for display cushions and then replace my ones that I sleep with so as you can see this is my actual Emma mattress it's really really soft it's thick it molds to your body shape and definitely helps if you struggle with sleeping at night, if you've got any back pain or just in general to make sure that you don't end up with these problems as you get older. So really, really good. It's lovely and sturdy, comfortable and also you can zip this off as well if you ever want to wash it. I don't know about you guys, but one of our common like mistakes at home is washing the bed and sheets too late in the day, drying them and then going to bed and realising you've not put them on yet. So. If that is you, then listen up. This is what you need to know to put your bed and sheets on. It is the fastest and easiest way to do it without getting lost in the sheets and everything. So here is my little tip for you, right? Which is take your duvet and lay it out. Right, so lay your duvet out as you would, right? It doesn't need to be as perfect as this. I'm just checking how this is going to sit on my bed. Oh my God, that's going to be so nice. Right, so lay your duvet out like that. Then what you want to do is take your sheet right and what you want to do is get the opening to it so mine's is round this side i think yeah so take your sheets get the opening and what you want to do is turn them inside out okay so there's the top corners like so you want to turn them inside out but keep your place right so we're inside out now so you've got the wrong side facing outwards. What you want to do is grab both corners of your duvet like that. So it's grab them like this, right? Like that and like that. So I've got both of my corners and then with all this material on your arms you want to just shake it the right way around. So I've held the right way and you just want to shake the sheets on. You're literally unrolling them back the right way around. You're not getting lost inside the duvet. Once the material is unraveled you want to shake it like so, go to the bottom and put these corners in their place. The easiest way I think to put on my duvet, and it's definitely one of those ones that when you're wanting to get into your bed quickly, you can do it with ease. <laughs> so give it another shake. And then just do up your buttons.
Okay, so at the moment it does look a bit crushed, but this is where the magic happens because I'm going to take my bedspread and pop it on top. So the bedspread I've got is grey, the bedding's now white. It's made a big difference to the room versus how it was looking before. This looks way, way brighter, more airy. The bed actually looks so spongy and thick and luxurious, which I'm so excited for for later to just jump in there and snuggle up and go to sleep. Next up, I'm just going to pop on pillowcases onto my pillows. So since these are going to be the ones that we sleep on, these won't be my display ones, so I'll pop them at the back. But first of all, I just need to put on the lovely covers on them. <laughs> Do you know what I like about these? See, because they're so heavy. How easy is that to just throw them on? And for me, I tend to make sure that I've got the opening to the inside so that you don't see it. And I stand my pillows on their ends like that. This is the way I've always done it. So I tend to keep them on the inside of there. So I keep them like that. This is the easiest ever. <laughs> I love that. So again, I'm popping the, the opening to the inside like that. Then next I've got my display cushions, which are the same as the bedspread. So I'm going to pop these on here. So I've actually just popped my old lackluster cushion that I had before I got my Emma pillows and I've popped them inside these display ones just to give an extra bit of dimension and make it look nice and thick. That one's so flat in comparison so I'm going to do the same thing over here and pop this inside of the display pillow. So now I'm going to take the bedspread. Now this one here is so good because it is flat velvet. It doesn't crease. And what I tend to do is just pop this at the foot of the bed. So pretty much take up half of what the length of the bed is. And just making sure that I get it nice and neatly down the bottom. And this bedspread is actually halved. This can go the full length of the bed, but pretty much I've just halved it and left the bottom part of this like Oxford design at the bottom. Now I've also got this bedspread which is a white one and I think this is going to be really good for putting over the whole bed. Now I've got this lovely runner that goes across the top. So now that I've got the bedspreads on and I've got my pillows sorted, I want to start doing some scatter cushions. So remember I'd said it was a bit dark. What I've done is I've decided to bring in this colour. So I've got a nice sort of like neutral champagne tone. Again, the flat velvet, just keeping it all in keeping with the rest of the bed. But I've also decided to put that through with some of the grey. So I've got these colours here that are going to match in with the tones that I've already got just to lift the colour and make it feel a nice and bright and a bit fresher. So I'll always start at the back with these big ones here and I'll chop them as you do and just whatever I do to one side I'm doing to the other so I'm going ahead and taking this one and popping it here and actually I'm now thinking I might take these across a little bit and pop this sort of like bolster style one in behind just for that extra little bit of comfort and coziness if you decide to come up here and lie during the day I do like to have a little throw blanket so this one here is quite nice it's like an open knit and a few different ways I could put this I could sort of just like scatter it along the edge of the bed unintentionally draped or one of the ways that a lot of cleaners tend to do is to take the blanket and this is what I do in the house a lot downstairs is to take this and fold it So, and then what I normally do is roll it up. And you can have that just sitting sort of like in the center of the bed. You can pop it in the middle in like a little band. So here is the finished result. I think this looks way brighter and airier than what it did to begin with. What a before and after that's been. Just simple changes. I would say for sure buy your cushion covers separately and get your separate fillings because it does make a big difference to getting that bit more of like a luxurious, almost like hotel or show home feel to your bedrooms. But yeah, I think this looks way better than what it did to begin with. Nice and bright. A few different levels and layers and textures. I think it works really, really well. 
and definitely lifts the room a little bit. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sleep tonight and then give you a verdict in the morning once I've had a shot of the pillow and used the duvet and see if it's made a real difference and let you know what I think. But if anyone wants, if anyone wants to go right now and go and shop, It's only three o'clock just now and I actually can't wait to get to my bed tonight so this will definitely give me some inspiration to get an early night so I'll let you know in the morning what I think. <laughs> 